Hello, it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. I just finished pre-pulling my hair with sweet almond oil and my hair, it feels so good. It's very soft, very hydrated and moisturized and this is very important for me being natural. I want my hair to stay moisturized even after wash day and throughout the week and pre-pulling my hair definitely helps to retain that moisture and that's why I'm always raving about it. Pre-pulling has definitely helped me to retain lint. I'm unraveling all the twists and once all the twists have been unraveled, I'm going to rinse the oil out with warm water. And warm water really helps to loosen my hair like any buildup and debris, all of that. It really helps prep my hair and scalp for the shampoo. Now I'm able to separate my hair into quadrants as I always do because my hair is so thick and I really want to make sure that I give my hair and scalp the TLC that it needs and deserves. Separating my hair just makes the whole process really easy for me. For my shampoo, I'm going to be using the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Shampoo and it has coconut milk in it for mega moisture. This shampoo is more like a gel cleanser rather than the creamy shampoos that I'm used to. You know that I typically go for creamy shampoos. But to my surprise, I really love the lather that I did get from this shampoo. And some shampoos that do have a gel-like consistency do give me this lather. As I continue to work the shampoo in my hair, I could feel my curls clumping together, which is a great sign of moisture being added to your hair. And I also really enjoy the scent of the shampoo. It smells like sweet coconut milk mixed with sweet apples. It definitely has a tropical scent to it, but it's not overbearing, which I like. And here's how my hair looks product free before I apply any shampoo to it. I really enjoyed this lather with the shampoo. My hair didn't feel stripped at all. It wasn't getting those little tangles. And I really felt this was enough moisture in my hair because there have been many times where I have tried shampoos that are dedicated for naturals and supposed to give us a lot of moisture, but I just felt like it didn't give me enough moisture and my hair felt that it was lacking. It was just lackluster, but with this shampoo, I definitely felt that my hair got the moisture that it needed. And I wanted to show you how my hair is receiving the shampoo in the front because I have noticed over the past couple wash days that it's showing more characteristics of low porosity than before, which it was medium porosity. But my hair in the back is still medium porosity. I've just noticed a minor change in the front of my hair and definitely how it reacts to certain products. So if you are low porosity, I wanted to show you how the shampoo may behave in your hair because that's really important. But I have noticed that the shampoo, it performed very well in the front of my hair and in the back of my hair which is overall excellent I really want my hair to be overall healthy not just in the back not just in the front but overall once I have finished shampooing each section individually, I just remove all the clips and then shampoo my hair as a whole because I want to make sure that all of my hair and scalp have received the shampoo and my hair is clean. And then I'm going to rinse the shampoo out with warm water. And after rinsing the shampoo out, my hair still feels really good. I can see my curls are clumping together. It's soft, it's moisturized, my hair is smooth, and it's hydrated. It does not feel dry, brittle, coarse, or tangled. My hair feels really good, and I would definitely use the shampoo again. And for my conditioner, I'll be using the same line, the Hawaiian Conditioner with Coconut and Milk for Mega Moisture. So this conditioner is a little bit on the thicker side, which you know as us naturals, we definitely need these thicker products in our hair, especially for me because my hair is dense. Dense products tend to work a lot better in my hair. Before I apply the conditioner, I made sure to saturate my hair with water because this really helps any product just absorb into my hair a lot better. And then I applied the conditioner onto my hair and it just melted right in. And that is another sign that the product is for you. If it just really penetrates into your hair easily and it's not like you have to force it in, 
that shows that that product is for you and this conditioner it just felt so good and it had a lot of slip and of course I have to comb the conditioner in my hair and I just divided it into two so that I can make this process a lot easier for me but there is no problems with combing the conditioner in my hair it felt really good I can see my curls clumping together my hair felt very soft very smooth and oh my gosh this conditioner is really good I know that I left a piece of hair out but it will get included in this quadrant of hair it did get conditioner on it and I also combed my hair with the conditioner in this little curl so everything is still good And I also love to twist my hair with the products in it because it really helps to hold on to that moisture. The conditioner has the same scent as the shampoo and I really like it. I could see my curls clumping together so I could definitely say that the shampoo and conditioner held up to the claims of mega moisture because I can feel it in my hair and it feels so good. As I've already mentioned, applying water to my hair before applying any product really helps my hair to absorb it a lot better, but especially on wash days, really saturating that quadrant of hair before applying the shampoo conditioner or deep conditioner really helps for that product to really penetrate into my hair, and the result is so much better. After I finish applying the conditioner to all four sections, I'm gonna go back to the first section I applied the conditioner to, remove the clip, and then unravel the twist and rinse the conditioner out before I apply the deep conditioner. So I have been doing this method for several months and I find that it just really helps to retain that moisture in my hair a lot better as opposed to removing all the clips, unraveling all the twists, and then rinsing the conditioner out and then putting it back into quadrants. I just feel like this is a lot better for my hair and my hair is more receptive. My hair it just feels so good with this conditioner rinsed out and my curls are so soft, very hydrated, nourished, all the above. My hair just feels so healthy and I would definitely recommend this conditioner, especially because it's so affordable. I really love the results that I had with this conditioner rinsed out. Then I am going to apply my deep conditioner mix to my hair and my hair it just feels really good. The deep conditioner is just melting into my hair strands and I did heat this deep conditioner mix up which definitely helped but nonetheless I would definitely say that this conditioner was very hydrating and it really set my hair up for success for the deep conditioner to be applied to my hair which makes it even better because that's what you want. You want your conditioner, all your products to work together especially when your conditioner really preps your hair for deep conditioner, it just really lets you know that the conditioner works very well in your hair.
And I'm going to continue to work the deep conditioner into my hair. And you can really see my curls are clumping together. My hair is very hydrated from root to tip, which is very important. You want all of your hair, especially the ends of your hair, to be very nourished so that it doesn't lack any of those great benefits and break off. And remember, twisting your hair with the products in it really helps for your hair to absorb the product so much better. And I did do a scalp massage with the deep conditioner in just to make sure that my scalp health is on point. And of course, I put a shower cap on and I used the Hot Heads heating cap just to help intensify the deep conditioning treatment so that my hair can really absorb this deep conditioner so much better. And of course, I rinse the deep conditioner out with cool water just to help seal the cuticles and seal that moisture in. And my hair, it just feels so, so good. Very healthy. It's soft. It's smooth. It has that sheen to it. Very moisturized and hydrated. My hair overall, it just feels so, so good. All of the factors that I want for my hair, I definitely feel it after I rinse this deep conditioner out. And lastly, I use the leave-in conditioner with this line. The leave-in conditioner is very lightweight and too lightweight for my liking it wasn't dense enough for my hair I just kept spraying it so the leave-in conditioner was just okay for me but the shampoo and conditioner I would definitely recommend for you to try it just feels so good and it just left my hair feeling really nice and nourished even after it was rinsed out I felt all of the different factors that I want to feel with healthy hair so I really would recommend it for you I really hope that you enjoyed my video and perhaps found two new products to try and I'll see you in the next one bye